How do you Claude Collector here today? And today we are taking a look at a kind of interesting product that I got for Christmas. This is the 1966, or I call it Batman Classic TV Series box <laughs> of things. And it was distributed by Funko. It has four main things. It's got a two pack of Batman and Penguin. It's got these uh, 1966 Batman effect sound visual effect socks. It's got two magnets of Batman and Joker, and it's got this really, really weird action figure two pack of Batman and Catwoman. But I just got this for Christmas. Uh, I don't really know even how much it costs. Let's just jump into the review. Here is the Batman magnet. It's just some kind of like a rubbery material, but it is hard. And then there's just a magnet in the back. I mean, just looks exactly like 1966 Batman. Not much to say about it. Here's the Joker magnet. Looks just like the Romeo Caesar Joker from 1966. Same thing as the other one where it has the magnet on the back, and it's the same material, of course. Um, and I do love how they even have his his mustache right there. If you don't know, Romeo Caesar, the actor for the Joker in 1966, uh, Batman, refused to shave his mustache. So the Joker just has his, this kind of weird little mustache for the show, and it's pretty humorous. Here's this 1966 Robin sticker that came with it. It's not actually part of the box, but um, when it shipped, it was in the box that it was shipping in, so I guess this is kind of a bonus. It's cool, though. Uh, yeah. Here is the Hero World Batman and Catwoman. I've never heard of this before. And it is incredibly weird. <laughs> but I guess it's only at Target. And apparently there's, this is Series 8. But this thing is just, just really creepy. I, I refuse to take it out of the box. And honestly, it doesn't even deserve me lighting it up. So you guys see it better because, well, because of the glare, but, um, we've got Adam West doing the, the Batosi, I think is what they call it in the show. Then we've got, I don't know this actress's name, we've got the 1966 cat one with just a jewel, pretty basic. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Here are the 1966 Batman socks, it's got Funko at the bottom there. All around it's got a bunch of the sound effects, and right here it has a Batman logo. Uh, which is hard to show you with a sock. <laughs> but this other one's the exact same. And these things are really not very elastic. Like, this kind of looks like I'm stretching it out, but then if you look down here, it's really thin. Um, yeah, this... <laughs> they are not very easy to get on. They're not very elastic, but they are cool looking socks in my opinion. Here are the Batman and Penguin figures. I don't know if this is supposed to be from a specific episode, but we've just got this basic 1966 Batman with the black front and blue back on the cowl. He's got this weird breathing apparatus. Um, I guess he went underwater or something in that episode. Uh, but then we got the Penguin. His umbrella is shooting something. I'm not sure. They are cool looking figures and they are well sculpted as always it's just not sure of the uh, exact basis of them this box was a pretty interesting surprise now my favorite part of course is the batman and penguin figures although i do like all the other stuff um the socks i wear them although like i said they are not stretchy at all they're actually pretty cheap <laughs> they're really hard to get on because they're so cheap. But then also I put the magnets on my uh, TV stand. So I'm playing Batman Arkham and I have them staring at me. That's kind of cool. But the Hero World action figures, Batman and Catwoman, I keep locked in that closet. <laughs> they are very weird, but they're pretty funny. And if I had to guess, I'd say this box probably originally costed like 30 or 40 dollars it's probably not worth that much <laughs> at least not to me maybe it is to you if you're a 
a, a classic, well, classic, if you're a 1960s Batman fan, but I don't know why you would be, um, besides irony. But, if you found this on clearance, like my mom happened to have, it's, it's definitely worth it if you're a Batman fan, and I do recommend it, uh, especially, mostly the two-pack and the magnets, but... That's pretty much it for me. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss a video. It's going to be crackled, and peace out.